My septum ring is always crooked. How do you guys deal with that? Hey, it's me. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'm finally doing the Native American tag. Now I've seen this tag uh, done before, uh, like years ago, I think now. Um, but by the time I seen it, it was, everybody had done it like so far long ago that I was like, well, I'm not gonna do it because the trend is long gone. But I stumbled upon a video by another native YouTuber I'm sorry if I mispronounce her name, but her name is Diana Anko Ingedet, and she did the Native American tag just a few weeks ago. So I decided if she did it, you know what? I'm gonna do it too. So hopefully the wind isn't blowing on the mic too hard. I'm actually walking along the shore of uh, Lake Superior on my reservation, uh, the Bay Mills Indian community. And, I don't know, I figured I would take a little stroll on my lunch break and answer the Native American tag questions. So, let's get into it. By the way, I know I have some bad skin today, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so question one. I have them written down on this paper here. Are you full Native American? Um, I'm actually, I didn't get to eat my lunch yet, uh, cause I'm here on my lunch break walking on the beach instead of having, you know, a sandwich or something. So I'm actually pretty hungry right now. So no, I'm not full. Uh, <laughs> so um, I don't know if any other native YouTube, I know Diana spoke a little bit about uh, the issues with blood quantum. Um, I'm one of those people who actually, I, I find it really offensive to be asked this question. I find it really offensive when people consider blood quantum and you know the only other beings on earth that are measured by blood quantum are like dogs so it's really dehumanizing it's really invalidating um i'm a native person who who grew up with a native mom a native dad a native family my grandmother is white it's just it's really invalidating to ask somebody if they are full or not because if you have any ancestors in your family who are not of native descent that doesn't reduce who you are in any way I don't it's really strange maybe I'll do a video talking about issues with blood quantum in the future but um, no I didn't eat my lunch today so I'm not full. Uh, <laughs> Number two, what tribe or tribes are you? Um, so I only know Ojibwe. My mom is Ojibwe. My dad's Ojibwe. My grandpa's Ojibwe. Both of his parents are Ojibwe. Both of their parents are Ojibwe, or all four of their parents, I mean, are Ojibwe. Everybody that I know is Ojibwe. Although I will say, Ojibwe are patri patrilineal, whereas we take our clan from our father. And so I'm wolf clan. I, I take my father's wolf clan. And wolf is not an original Ojibwe clan. So I don't know my dad. Um, his family, like he doesn't live in the area. He hasn't my entire life. His family is still here. Um, but I just don't really know them that well. And so, I mean, I could ask, like, is there anybody, like any ancestor down the line that brought this clan here? My theory is maybe there's another tribe mixed in there that brought wolf clan to this area, but that would be so far back that I have no ties to it. So I am Anishinaabe, I am Ojibwe. Number three, traditional or non-traditional? Uh, this question always confuses me because I'm like, do you mean like overall, like our lifestyle? Do you just mean spirituality? Do you mean, I don't know. I guess I would say like a mix because um, 
I practice, I like do our traditional practices. I go to ceremony. I um, use our traditional spirituality. Like I'm not a Christian or anything. But there's other aspects that I would say I'm also very modern. I have a bachelor's degree. I mean, I all natives, we wear clothes. Like a, I don't wear buckskin dresses or ribbon skirts constantly so I don't know a mix number four what tribe are you mistaken for I can't say I've ever been mistaken for being a member of another tribe the majority of the time if somebody doesn't know what I am they either think that I'm white or I'm Hispanic one time somebody thought I was Chinese I, I'll remember that forever they were probably just really silly but um, yeah, I never get mistaken for another tribe. Number five and number six kind of both assume that I'm like a member of more than one tribe. I'm not. Number five is what tribe do you embrace the most? I'm, I'm only in Ojibwe, so. Um, number six, how was it growing up with different tribes? Again, I'm only Ojibwe, but I will say that there's another Ojibwe tribe about 20 minutes from my reservation. Um, there's 12 tribes total in Michigan, so like, I, I have proximity to other tribes. The other one that's the closest besides the Ojibwe one 20 minutes away, actually there's two of them about 20 minutes away, it's just one is in Canada, so because of bureaucracy and borders it takes a little longer to get there even though it's like the same geographical area um, but the only other one that's like the closest would be the Hannibal Potawatomi which are about three hours from me like there's a few people who they have family from both Bay Mills and there um, I've made a few friends there I <laughs> I got my first hickey from a boy from there. I, I don't know. I don't really know all that many people from there, but um, Potawatomi is another like member of the Anishinaabe, like the Three Fires. Um, so a lot of what they do and like even their language is very similar. So I don't know. You can get a glimpse of the water. So this is Lake Superior, and this land right here is Canada. Uh, yeah. Right there, like this is their windmill farm. Um, yeah. Number seven, do you wear traditional clothing? So I guess I kind of touched on this just a tiny bit with number the number three question. Um, to like ceremony and stuff, whether it's like our ceremonies um, or any other kind of important ceremony as well. So like graduation, when it comes to just like on the day to day, yeah, sometimes I might wear a ribbon skirt just whenever I feel like it I guess but typically no I just let me try and get my outfit here just cute dress and some cons you know <laughs> oh there's like a big cloud over top so taking the sun away from me number eight any famous people from your tribe so I'm gonna admit right here right now that I I'm not answering this question like from the top of my head. I wrote down some people um, because after thinking about it, I was like, well, crap, I, I don't I don't know. Um, and I do want to clarify that I did think about including like influencers, but I decided to just stick with like more mainstream, well-known people. So number one would be Adam Beach. Y'all know who he is already. Uh, he's an actor. Uh, I'd say he's most well known for his role in Smoke Signals and Law and Order. Um, but, you know, he's done other roles. Dennis Banks, who is one of the AIM founders, the American Indian Movement. And Leonard Peltier, he was also an AIM. He was uh, mixed with Ojibwe and Lakota. Say what you will about AIM, uh, whatever feelings you have about them, they're still like well-known individuals so 
famous people, man. Um, another person would be Marcus Lavoy. He is Uncle Frank in Chambers on Netflix. Um, and then the last person I have written down, I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more famous Ojibwe people out there. Um, but the last person that came to mind is Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel is, I can't remember his real name, Brian something. He's Ojibwe from Wisconsin. Most people don't know that Trixie Mattel is actually like half Ojibwe. Their, their mom is Ojibwe and their dad's white. Um, most people don't know that they're Ojibwe because one, Trixie Mattel is a character and the character is a white woman. And two, um, like I've watched the Moving Parts documentary and I've kind of gotten like a, a glimpse of Trixie's relationship with his mother. And it just kind of seems like he's just a tad bit disconnected from his Ojibwe community. So, um, yeah. Number nine, do you dance in powwows? Yes. Uh, I started out as fancy shawl when I was 11 years old. And then I was about 15 when I switched to jingle. Um, and I've been jingle ever since. I'm, I'm 30 now, by the way. Um, so yeah, I dance jingle. Number 10, what makes being Native American beautiful? So this question is kind of hard to answer because like there's just a million things that you can say. Um, so if I were to narrow it down to just like one response, I will say I think what what being indigenous, I can't speak. I think that what makes being indigenous a beautiful thing is our relationship with Mother Earth. Um, it's it, even in our creation story, the fact that we are, we have a responsibility to care for the earth. We have a relationship with the earth and all of the things that are on it. And unfortunately, I don't think the dominant culture really has that ingrained, obviously, <laughs> because everything gets cut down and covered in pavement and water gets polluted and oil gets drilled and it's just she's being harmed and that is something that indigenous people um, fight for and have always fought for even before mother earth was being abused like this it, it's always been in our teachings and our ways and our practices to have a healthy relationship with the earth and everything on it. I strongly emphasize the word relationship because I think that a lot of people's worldview of our presence here on earth is like we're at the top of the chain, uh, but we're, we're like at the bottom. We're 11. How do you feel about Native American Heritage Month? Um, so this question kind of confuses me because I'm not sure how else I would feel besides good. There's nothing wrong with having a, a month or a day or a week or whatever sort of dedication to inviting everybody to recognize um, a group of people. There are some people that are like nay naysayers because maybe that's what this question means too. Like, shouldn't every day be that? And it's like, well, yeah, having a month or a day or whatever uh, designated to this recognition, it doesn't mean that every day isn't our day too. It's, it's inviting everybody to, okay, we're all collectively going to recognize this group of people on this day or on this month. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess the only negative thing I would have to say about it is I would prefer it to be called like indigenous peoples, not Native American heritage, but to each their own. So yeah, that's all the questions. I will, of course, list them in the description if you're a native YouTuber as well. Um, 
answer the questions, man. Don't be like me and be like, oh, they did it forever ago. Just, just do it, okay? And I hope you enjoyed uh, me going a little rogue here and filming somewhere that isn't my typical. Uh, so you can see these beautiful waters, this beautiful shoreline, my beautiful reservation. <laughs> And hopefully the wind didn't blow on the mic too hard. So yeah, I hope this was entertaining or whatever you want it to be. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, my peak